morning dear students this lesson we are doing for class 7th the sense organs the first sense organ we are doing today is the eye now the eye is always a pair pair of eyes are located in the sockets the place in the skull now internally we are studying the all the parts of the eye there are three layers of the eye first one is outermost sclera the middle is the choroid and the innermost is the retina when the outermost layer is very protective in function and it is tough and fibrous and opaque now in front it bulges to form something called a cornea the part which you can see in the eyes the white color part is the bulging here and it is also protective in function now it is again covered by a thin delicate membrane called the conjunctiva now this conjunctiva when it is affected by germs it causes conjunctivitis or sore eyes now the second layer is supplied with blood vessels the choroid and it nourishes the eye because the blood will bring oxygen to each cell of the eye so it is uh, rich uh, it has a rich supply of blood and it nourishes the eye the innermost layer is the retina now this layer the inner uh, middle layer in front forms suspensory ligaments which holds a lens there is a convex lens behind this structure which is called a iris this is a pigmented layer of the eye the choroid layer is a pigmented layer colored layer of the eye in front of the eye below, behind the cornea the only colored part of the eye is the iris and it is having a window or opening here that is called a pupil so the choroid in front forms the iris only colored part of the eye and a uh, opening here that is called a pupil for the light to enter now when the light enters it falls on the lens which is convex this lens will further direct the image or the light to the retina now this lens is always held in place by suspensory ligaments it will not move it will only adjust to see far or near now the innermost layer is the retina which is made up of the photoreceptor cells called the rods and the cones so here you can see the blue ones are the rods and the red ones are the cones now the red uh, the rods are for dim light whereas the cones are for uh, bright light also the rods are for night vision you can see in the dark when you get up and in the night you can see some after some time you can see the objects clearly because of rods and also the cones are responsible for colored vision you can see uh, different colorful petals or colorful birds uh, butterflies because of the cones now inside the eye it is a spherical in shape the lens is dividing the eye into two chambers in front chamber in front of the lens there is a chamber called the aqueous chamber and behind it is called a vitreous chamber and the fluid here is watery fluid which is called the aqueous humor and the fluid here is little semi liquid like your shampoo or uh, hand wash little thicker than water this is called a vitreous humor now the function of this uh, aqueous humor is to nourish the cornea as well as the lens both because it is uh, touching the cornea as well as the lens it nourishes them and the function of the vitreous humor is to keep the eye ball in spherical shape so this is full filled with the semi liquid that is vitreous humor now another thing is the vitreous humor directs the light which has entered to the retina now coming to the functions of the eye the functions of the eye is to see the things around us how it happens it only happens because the light enters through the conjunctiva cornea and through the pupil it is taken to the retina 
Now this power point, sorry, where it uh, the uh, rays of light falls, okay, is called a fovea or the yellow spot. It is full of rods and cones. So what happens is when the light image falls there, it is seen clearly. In the retina, there is a spot called a blind spot where the optic nerve leaves to the brain from both the eyes. So if the image falls here, uh, it cannot be seen. You feel as if you are blank or blind. So this place do not have rods and cones at all. What pupil does for us when we are in the dark, it dilates, becomes big so that more light can enter and we can see the objects clearly. Uh, this happens when you go into the movie theater and all. We can see people around us after some time. Now, the opposite also happens when you come out in the outside the theater, you can see a full bright light. So, this pupil will contract so that so much light will damage the retina. So, it will pupil will uh, contract so that it can reduce the light entering the eyes, the retina. So the pupil either dilates in darkness or it uh, contracts in when it is bright light and takes care that uh, either more or uh, less light enters the eye so it doesn't damage. Okay. Now coming to how this image is falling on the retina. When you see any object, what happens is, it first touches the cornea, then it is directed inside, it bends slightly. When it touches, through the pupil it goes and touches the lens, it bends more and the image which, which falls on the retina is inverted. So when both the eyes see an inverted image, when this image is going through the optic nerve to the brain, the brain will interpret it into a proper real image that we can see now. Like a uh, person sitting there, I can see the person sitting there. But in our eyes, both the eyes, the image here which falls is the person is sitting opposite, ulta, okay, the legs on top and head down. So both these optic nerves will work simultaneously and that is why we see one image, not from both the eyes, separate image. Now, what happens in old age, after 40, we need reading glasses because this suspensory ligament tends to lose its elasticity and this shakes. So, all of us uh, will uh, require reading glasses because this is not kept in a proper place. And the image, sometimes we can see double image because this condition is changed in old age. Okay, so now there are some disease of the eye which we will be doing in the higher classes. I will just tell you some. One is cataract. When this lens is uh, transparent and light can pass through it, now this becomes opaque as if it is uh, turgid, okay, like uh, white. So the person will find it difficult to see objects. Now there are conditions here. That is, um, sometimes the image falls be on the retina, which is correct. Then you see the image clearly. Sometimes it falls here in between, inside a vitreous humor. So the person have to, uh, it's called short-sightedness. So a person has to wear glasses. That glass, either lenses, will make the image fall on the retina. Similarly, in long-sightedness, a person, in a person, the image falls behind the eyeball, behind the retina. So, it is also corrected by wearing glasses, where in this case, the glass will bring the image back on the retina. So, a person can see well with the glasses. Now, with this, uh, we are done with this sense organ. So, please read well and if you have any doubts, you can message me on the WhatsApp group. Thank you.